Litter Robot is built in a modular way to make troubleshooting and maintenance simple. In this video, we'll show you how to disassemble your unit to access certain areas for ongoing maintenance. Litter Robot 3 has four main components, the bonnet, the globe, the base, and the drawer. You'll find your control panel on the base to the right of the cat entry opening. Press the power button to turn the unit off, then unplug the unit from the wall. Remove the bonnet by pressing the latches on both sides of the bonnet, then lift while rotating it backwards. There are two plastic tabs on the back of the bonnet that should slide up and out of the base. Set the bonnet aside. Remove the globe and set aside. Remove the waste drawer and set aside. If you need to replace the base, this is when you'd remove the new base from the box and place it in the desired location near a power outlet. A firm level surface is required for accurate detection of cats. But a robot ships with a waste drawer liner installed. These liners are made specifically for any litter robot model, but an 8 to 13 gallon, 30 to 49 liter trash bag will also work. Clear bags work best. Now, take your new waste drawer liner and open it all the way. Roll down the opening four times. Starting at the back of the waste drawer, push the rolled edge of the bag into each of the four tabs, keeping the bag taut across the back and sides. Pull the slack forward toward the carbon filter. Make sure the bag does not come up past the top of the sides of the waste drawer, which can result in a false flashing blue drawer full light on the control panel. Litter Robot 3 is equipped with a carbon filter that is installed on the inside of the waste drawer. It is not required for operation. Remove the old carbon filter by pushing down on the top edge to free it from the retaining hooks. Slide a new carbon filter into the slot. Again, push down the top edge of the filter, but this time, securing it in place behind the retaining hooks. Adjust the filter so it covers the front-facing vent completely. An odor trap pod can also be used in conjunction with the carbon filter to help eliminate odors. If you are using odor trap, you'll want to install the odor trap pod in the waste drawer near the carbon filter. Place one odor trap pack inside the pod and snap shut. Reinstall the waste drawer. Replace the globe, making sure it is on straight and in its tracks. At the back of the globe, turn the black key into the key pocket. Replace the bonnet by inserting the bonnet tabs into the rear bonnet slots. Then press the latches while rotating it forward until the latches click into place. Plug the litter robot into the wall. Press the power button to turn the unit on. Once the initial clean cycle is complete, the unit should return home displaying a blue ready light status. Thanks for watching. For further assistance, please visit whiskersupport.com to access additional video tutorials, manuals, and our troubleshooting wizard.